If the ox could think, it would attribute oxality to God. Xenocrates. Xenocrates was a Platonist, one of five scholarchs, leaders of the Platonic Academy from 339 to 314 BC. He taught that there are three aspects of human being, sense, intellect, and opinion. Unity and duality are gods that rule the world. God is in everything, but there are demonical powers that are in between divine and the mortal which consist in conditions of the soul. For him, Platonic ideas and mathematical objects are the same and virtue produces happiness. Xenocrates was born around 396 BC in Chalcedon, nowadays the district of Istanbul called Kadikoi. He moved to Athens at an early age and eventually became a student of Plato. He visited Sicily with him in 361 BC. After Plato's death and Susipis' presidency, Xenocrates became the third scholar of the Old Academy in 339 BC. He was three times in a diplomatic mission to Macedonia and managed to negotiate peace with them. As a reward, he was offered Athenian citizenship that he declined. The price of the peace was a change of constitution, and thousands of poor Athenians were deprived of their rights. So Xenocrates didn't want to accept citizenship in a country with a constitution he was fighting against. He died around 314 BC in his house at the age of 82 when he tripped over a bronze pot and hit his head. Some famous scholars have frequented Xenocrates' lectures, like Polymon, who succeeded him as scholar of the academy, then academic Crantor, as well as Zeno Ossidium, the founder of Stoic school, and Epicurus, who founded Epicureanism. Xenocrates was a typical representative of the old academy and adhered strictly to the Platonist doctrine in his many works, he covered almost the whole program of the school, but his focus was mostly on ethics and metaphysics. He made a more distinctive division of philosophy into three parts, physics, dialectics, and ethics. In ethics, he said that besides good and bad, there is something in between. Good has value for itself and we should strive after it, and bad is the opposite. Those things in between, like health, wealth, beauty, fame, don't have value in themselves but Xenocrates didn't consider them worthless. That would depend on how we use them. By misuse, good can become evil and vice versa. By virtue, evil could become good. Thank you for watching. Don't hesitate to comment below and share this video with your friends. See you in my next video.